Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Guys, I have tested GPT-5 with Kimi K2 and I have seen a lot of difference. Here you see this is the website that is generated by GPT-5 and this is the website it is generated by Kimi K2 for the same prompt and design was this. So stay with me till the end, you will learn a lot of things and you will understand that which model is best. Is it Kimi K2 or GPT-5? Okay, so I have used this GPT-5 model from this cursor because they are currently providing access for free and I have selected this GPT-5 high first and for the Kimi K2 I have used Tray AI code editor because they have this Kimi K2 option to select. So I have selected this Kimi K2 from Tray AI code editor. Okay, now if you see that uh, this is the design, let me show you. This is the design of a web app SaaS. This is an HR management SaaS and I have uh, taken this design from this dribble.com and this design exactly looking very cool SaaS, right? Now I have taken this Kimi K2 model to compare with GPT-5 because you remember that when some days ago Kimi K2 model was published, they made a huge announcement on benchmark on this agentic competitive coding benchmark. This Kimi K2 model beats this Anthropic Cloud Opus model and this is a huge announcement they did, right? So that's why I have chosen this model to test with GPT-5 and I have seen a lot of difference. Here you see, if you see this design, this design have one logo on the left hand side and they have some menu bar and if you see clearly that uh, there's a drop down, means if you click on this drop down, this will be squeezed, right? And also on the right hand side, we have this export CSV and add new button and also there is a four grid uh, here you see total employee, active employee and this inactive employee, onboarding employee. And also there is some columns and we have this status and all of the status column have some color and some status. Uh, and based on the status, we have different color, right? And on the left hand side, you see that uh, there is just some logo. Now if you compare this design and this design you will see that this design which is generated by gpt5 it is almost similar to that design right because you see that uh, here also we have this status and that onboarding active and based on the status we have these colors and on the left hand side you will see that we have this employee okay now if i click on this employee you see that it is squeezing vertically and if I click on it and it is expanding. Okay, so this feature is also available and uh, GPT-5 implemented it. And on the right hand side, we have this export CSV and add new and uh, this color is almost same. So add new button is black color. And if you see this design there also, we have this black color. And if you see this logo, so in case of GPT-5, we they have generated one dummy logo, but we can change that easily, right? But if you compare it with this uh, Kimi K2 model, here you see that this is the design generated by Kimi K2. So there is no sub menu. Here you see in dashboard employee attendance, there is no sub menu. But in case of design, we have sub menu plus sub menu, right? And this is necessary because you are cloning on design, right? Also in case of Kimi K2, it has not added any uh, logo and uh, also you, if you see that under this total employees, they have added this plus 12 plus this month, but in our design, we have only this plus button. And in case of GPT-5, here you see they have added only this plus 47, means it has exactly copied the design, okay? And also in case of this Kimi K2, uh, you see that they have added some icons, okay, but that icons were not there, here you see. So uh, all of that functionality also if you see, uh, it is not there, like the filter. In case of GPT-5, here you see that we have this all status filter and sort filter, but in case of Kimi K2, we don't have any this kind of filter, we have only this all department filter. So uh, if you compare this uh, design and it is generated by Kimi K2 and this GPT-5, you will see a lot of difference. And 
another thing i want to show you that i have uh, generated one sas app in their chatgpt.com website and there also i have found a beautiful website here you see this is generated in their web app ui this is a sas uh, valuation playground and here on the left hand side if you change these things you will see that this graph is getting changed and uh, also this number are getting changed and uh, we have this early growth mature these filters and if you select these filters this graph is also getting changed and you can generate this uh, export json also so you see that uh, in case of gpt5 they have a lot of capability to generate the good things so um, i hope that you now have the idea that this gpt5 completely beats kimi k2 yes i know that kimi k2 is a open source model but you see that when you are using any model for generating website then in that case you should choose a good model so that your time uh, should not be wasted right so i hope that you have found this detailed comparison video very helpful if you found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you want me to make uh, to compare this gpt5 with another model then please comment down below that also and see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye